Hey Geekery fans, my name is Rich Davis. Uh, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I just want to show off a little bit of my collection for all you geek fans out there. As you can see, yeah, I do collect Wade Boggs, my favorite baseball player, but that's not what I want to show you today. Maybe my t-shirt will give it away, but I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I want to show you my Star Wars geek den. So check this out. I got a special hideaway Star Wars room. So I'll bring it inside and we'll check it out. So here we go. I just added some new lighting to it, so it's nice and bright now. So I gotta just kind of climb into this thing. Yes, it's a crawl space, but it's climate controlled. It's got tiling, so we're good. Come on in here. You got an X-Wing fighter. I went and got some display cases, four in total. Now I take that back, five in total to showcase the collection. Now the first half of the crawl space here is the vintage side. So this is all vintage Star Wars, boxed items and unboxed items. That Imperial shuttle is probably my most valuable uh, vehicle. But not my favorite. My favorite vehicles, or vehicle, are actually all the Millennium Falcons. And I've got four different ones. Although they had several other versions, there are Canadian, French versions, uh, there are Spanish versions. I don't have any of those. There's Master Yoda. He kind of protects the place. <laughs> I do love the Y-Wing. I think that the Y-Wing fighter is just one of the best vehicles ever made, regardless of sci-fi genre. There's the Black Series TIE fighter from the uh, more recent trilogies, which is, that thing's huge. I got a boxed one right over there. And then over here is more vintage vehicles, TIE fighters. AT-ATs, more X-Wing fighters, more loose figures down here. I think I have somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 loose figures. So this is the vintage side. And then these are some instruction manuals and catalogs from Star Wars. We'll try to go through the back here. Entering the modern side. A little low ceiling here, but it's the only place I could display my Star Wars stuff. In these cases are all boxed figures. Currently I have somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 boxed uh, modern figures. There's the huge Millennium Falcon, about two and a half foot long. I think it's huge, but it's boxed. I didn't want to take it out of the box. There's some more items. I got the graphic novels of all 107 Marvel comics. I've got all 107 Marvel comics, the actual comics in here. That took me several years to get all 107 of them. Darth Ball. This is a very rare piece. It's an X-Wing and TIE Fighter trench run uh, vehicle. You get both of those in one box. Darth Maul Ray Park autograph. Amy Allen, who plays Ayla Secura. In my opinion, the hottest Jedi in the universe. <laughs> Get Master Yoda. This huge Millennium Falcon. And we are exiting the modern side and entering back into the vintage side. High interceptors, these things are so cool. Never had one as a child. 
pick these up later in life when I actually had money. <laughs> And there's the exit from the Geek Den into my Wade Boggs collection room called the Boggs Tavern. And there you can see me in the mirror there. <laughs> Alright guys, well that concludes the, uh, the tour of my Star Wars Geek Den. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys take care and keep on geeking, keep on collecting. Bye guys.